Hi, Steve here. Just taking a look at that old barn back there. It's in pretty rough shape. Got a lot of work to do to it, but that's a project for this summer. But it is an integral part of the down-to-earth woodworking shop. Let me show you why. This old barn was as bad a shape as that one back there, but I did a lot of work to it. Ran electricity out here, put lights in it, cleaned it up, filled all the holes and cracks in it, and painted it. And now it serves as secondary storage for my woodworking shop, which you can kind of see here in the background. Let's take a look inside here. To really understand my woodworking shop and my method of working, you have to understand that one of my core guiding principles is that of 5S. 5S is a methodology of arranging your workplace to achieve the highest level of efficiency and I think fun. One of the core principles of that is the first S which is sort. Sort means simply that you keep the tools and things that you use on a daily basis close at hand. The stuff that you use less often can be stored away and the stuff that's used even less often can probably be removed and taken off premises. That's the key to this barn. Let's take a look. After I got all the preparatory work done in this old barn, got it fixed up, then I hooked up the alarm system to it, put a new lock on the door, and then I started bringing out woodworking stuff. First thing that I did was I put in lumber racks, and this is all long-term lumber storage. In other words, lumber that I'm not going to be using for six months or so. Projects that are coming down the road. but. Right now, I don't need this in the shop cluttering up space when I'm working on other projects. I have a lot of other stuff stored out here as well. There are some roll around heavy duty plastic bins down here. One of these has tarps in it. The other one is full of drop cloths. Certainly don't need all that inside my woodworking shop. There's a roll around bin over here full of drywall tools not doing any drywall in my shop right now so I don't need that in there it would just be taking up space and cluttering in fact there's another bin full of old tools that are specific to electrical work it's in my shop right now because I just finished installing my dust collector and doing some rewiring for some lights in there but pretty soon that's going to come back out here too because it doesn't need to be in my woodworking shop I have some saw horses stacked up out here. I use those very rarely, but when I do, I need them. So they're out here in my tertiary storage area. I've got some shelves over here, unfortunately, that have a lot of stuff that's not at all related to woodworking. And that's what that other barn is gonna be used for. Once I get the weed whacker, the tiller, and all the gardening tools out of here, this will be purely for woodworking tools that I don't use very often. Now, let's go see another aspect of 5S before we go into the shop itself. I'm upstairs in my house now in the little cubby hole that I use as an office, and these shelves behind me are a key part of my woodworking shop. Part of 5S is sorting and getting things out of the way that you don't use all the time. Instruction manuals are a perfect example. When I need to find something, I'd like to be able to find it quickly, but I don't go to this stuff too often, so there's really no sense in having it inside the shop. I've got everything organized into three ring binders, very easy to locate what I'm looking for. For example, if I was interested in finding out something about my bandsaw, I just grab the three ring binder labeled bandsaw and everything is in here. From the original sales literature, to the owner's manual, to all the way in the back here, even the wood slicer blade that I use on that saw. All in one place, neat, organized, and easy to find. Up until now in discussing the 5S process for streamlining your shop activities, 
we've been talking about sort and I've left out perhaps one of the most important parts of sort and that is to get rid of stuff that you're never going to use. I'm out in the breezeway between the house and the woodworking shop and this big old box here is absolutely jam-packed with stuff that throughout the winter I've kind of sorted through and said, you know, I'm never going to use that again. There's a reciprocating saw here that I've subsequently replaced and I'm not going to use this again. There's an old parts bin. Do something good with this. Get rid of it. Give it to another woodworker or sell it in a garage sale. But whatever you do, get it out of the shop because if you're not going to use it, it's just going to be in the way. Now, let's go in the shop and we're going to look at the second S in 5S, which is set in order. A very important component that plays right into the sort component of 5S. Let's go inside. We're upstairs in the down-to-earth woodworking shop now and it's probably a perfect place to start a shop tour. The reason is is because the 5S system mandates that we set things in order. And I really like the set in order piece because it sort of plays into the sort as well. Set in order means simply to have the tools and supplies that you need close at hand. The stuff you use every day should be in some logical order, easy to grab. The stuff you use less frequently can maybe be put in drawers or cabinets but still close by. And some of set in order is kind of natural. In fact, we probably do a lot of this subconsciously. And in my case, it might be unconsciously, but we do it naturally. Think about a drawer. There's a drawer that you go into all the time. You grab a thing out, you put it back, you grab something else, you put it back. And have you ever noticed that in the very back of the drawer, back in the deep, dark recesses of that drawer, is all kind of junk that you never use? That's because what you use all the time is finding its way to the front and staying there. So, setting in order is kind of a natural process, but I want to make it for all woodworkers a conscious process because it will make your life in your woodworking shop much more enjoyable. Now we're on the second floor, it's very close, my shop is not that big, but I have a lot of things up here that just don't really need to be in the shop proper downstairs. And I have everything labeled, which is an important part of set in order because it makes it easy to find stuff. You don't have to waste a lot of time rooting around trying to find what you're looking for. Give you an example, pegboard hooks. We all, pretty much all, use them. But once you get your pegboard set up with the different things that you're going to hang on it, do you keep all those extra pegboard hooks in the shop? You're probably not going to change anything. I know I'm not unless I get a new tool. Hopefully that'll be soon, but you just never know. So I've got a box up here, it's labeled pegboard hooks. It's out of my shop, out of my way, but close and easy to get to should I need it. Same thing is true for this box here, it's called lubricants. And there's oil and WD-40 and grease in there that I use occasionally on machinery, but I don't use it all the time, certainly don't use it every day. So it's here in the shop, it's upstairs, it's really close by and easy to get to, it's labeled, which makes it quick to find, and that is the secret to set in order. Now let's look around at a couple of other things upstairs, and then we'll start working our way downstairs, and the set in order will become really obvious as we move through the shop. Right next to where I was just a moment ago is this uh, tool chest and this has mechanical tools in it. Sockets, socket wrenches, crescent wrenches, box end wrenches, open end wrenches, all kinds of your usual mechanical tools. And certainly you need these from time to time, but I doubt very seriously that you use these much in the course of everyday woodworking. 
So should these be in the shop or should they be somewhere close where you can get to them and where you know exactly where everything is? Set in order. Well, this is an old uh, store-bought bench that I've modified, put some wheels on it. One of these days I'm going to build something specifically for this, but upstairs I've got my sharpening area. Again, set in order. I don't sharpen tools every single day. Maybe I should, but I don't. So I put it up here so it's out of the woodworking area of my workshop, but still very handy to get to. Well, we're at the other end of the upstairs of the shop area, and I'm right at the top of the stairs coming up. And why do I even mention that? Because this is where I have the parts bins and the supply bins of the stuff that I use most frequently. Wood screws, sheet metal screws, drywall screws, dominoes, biscuits, all those things that I use on a pretty much, let's say, every other day basis are right here at the very top of the stairs. Just run up, grab what I need, and go back down. Quick and easy, out of the shop, out of the way, but very handy to get to. Now, as we go down the stairs, lining the wall is a lot of other stuff, and you're going to see that it's going to get progressively more important as far as the frequency of use as we go down the stairs. Let's take a look. Well, I'm three steps down the stairs, and this is kind of my wall of shame, but it is stuff that I use fairly frequently. Now, some of this is really stuff that I use outside or on other kinds of work, but I want to keep it reasonably handy, so here on the wall going up the steps is a pretty good place. Now, I've got my little magnetic pickup unit here if I accidentally drop a screw into the sawdust and can't find it. I've got a big beater here if I need to make some serious adjustments. Got a roll of tape up here. I use packing tape sometimes. You might wonder about the crowbars, but <laughs> there's a story behind that. I kind of need those around. I've got some extension cords here, some padlocks that I can use on a temporary basis when I need to lock something up. And you may be saying, well, that lumberjack uh, helmet there is uh, probably not something you use in the woodworking shop. But the fact of the matter is, I actually do go out and saw up some wood with a chainsaw every once in a while, and it's handy to have this right here. So let's go a little bit further down the stairs, and the stuff will be getting progressively more pure woodworking and used almost every day. Well, the stairs up from my shop take a turn, and there's a landing here. It's only five steps from here down to the floor level. And look what's here at the landing. My Festool guide rails, which I use almost every day, my 23 gauge pinner, my 18 and 15 gauge finish nailers, right at hand, some clamping supplies over here, my bandsaw tapering guide, it's a homemade deal, works really good. I use it all the time making legs. And then right behind me on the landing, remember only five steps from the main shop starts my clamp racks and they continue on this direction. As long as the camera's up there on the landing, might as well go ahead and do a panorama shot of the first floor. Now be sure and check back real soon for part two of this video tour of the Down to Earth Woodworking Shop and a little bit more about how to 5S your shop for more efficiency and more fun. Look forward to seeing you and thank you so much for watching. <laughs>